Okay, I'm showing that it's 4 o'clock. If I could get you all to settle down, we'll go ahead and start this meeting as the uh, Economic Improvement Corporation. Uh, I'll call the meeting to order at 4 o'clock. Our first order of business will be the invocation, and I've asked Jim Wilson to provide that for us today. Dear God, we may, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for many blessings this day. Father, we thank you for all you do for us as we glorify your kingdom. Father, we ask this meeting to be in your name today, personify everything that you would have us to do, that we may edify your kingdom and its growth, that we may be strong in our beliefs and our work here today. Father, we ask all of these things in Christ's name and for his sake. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you, Jim. First order of business is the Visitors and, ooh, and Citizens Forum. Any citizen with business not scheduled on the agenda may speak to the Economic Improvement Corporation. No deliberation or action can be taken on these items because of the because the Open Meetings Act requires an item to be posted on the agenda 72 hours before the meeting. Visitors are asked to limit their presentations to three minutes. Do we have any people that would like to address the EIC on the vis Visitors and Citizens Forum today? If not, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes, item two. Uh, I believe all you all have received the uh, minutes uh, that goes back to November 21st and the special meeting that was held on December 15th. Are there any comments or questions on those? If not, I'll accept a motion to approve them as presented. I shall move that we approve the minutes as read. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion passes. All right, item three is uh, the monthly reports, financials for November and December. Good afternoon. We have a combined report. Since we did not have a meeting in December, this is for November and December's activities. The beginning cash as of uh, November the 1st was for the operating fund was 3775297 We had total income of the two months of $544,777. We had total expenses for the two months of $2,452,172 leaving an ending cash balance on December 31st of 1,867,901. On the following page is the detail which shows your annual budget. The current month period would be your December activity, your year to date, and your remaining balances. That's on page 11 in your agenda. <coughs> uh, the following page shows the actual sales tax received both in November and December and uh, we're right on target with budget and we're about 5.8% over uh, the prior year. Page 13 is the capital projects fund. The beginning cash balance on November 1st was $2,090,991. You had income of $2,250,000 with expenditures of $3,000. $280, leaving you a cash balance on December 31st of $4,337,711. On page 14 is the detail of the projects that y'all have budgeted to uh, carry out and the remaining balances on those with your year-to-date expenses. And at the bottom is the status on the river trail as of December 31st. And the Last page on page 15 is your cash and investments page showing where your cash balance and your cash for your operating and your capital funds are in your cash, your investments at, as of December 31st. Thank you, Sandra. Anything else? Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, item three. Or EB, excuse me, projects update from staff. Good afternoon. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to present uh, several updates uh, to the board. Uh, River Trail update. Uh, we are continuing uh, property uh, acquisition negotiations uh, as the River Trail uh, moves western. Uh, we have had uh, several um, quality conversations with uh, owners. Uh, towards the uh, far western terminus uh, there at the Dietert Center uh, and around that general area. Uh, we're continuing to progress those conversations, but uh, it is looking positive uh, in that regard. So uh, we are hopeful that we'll be able to move through uh, the property acquisition process here in the, in the very near term and begin uh, the design construction process for moving that river trail going west. Okay. 
Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Kerrville Sports Complex. Uh, we've had some wet weather. Uh, it, I won't say unfortunate because we can always use uh, good rain to fill up the rivers and aquifer and whatnot. Um, we have uh, had a little bit of a delay uh, given the, the weather here uh, as, of, as of late, but um, uh, as you recall from the December time frame, we appreciate uh, members of the, the, the board being able to join us uh, for a tour. If you weren't able to join us on that day, we'd be happy to uh, take you out there for a one-on-one -on -one and just kind of show you around the site. Things are really coming together. Uh, a lot of infrastructure that's uh, come in place. Uh, most recently, we've had a soil mix uh, that's been put down. Uh, and so that's a, a good uh, root mix. Um, so getting this wet weather help with uh, compaction out there uh, on that. And we'll, we'll begin to see uh, that uh, greening up here uh, in the ensuing months. So uh, it's really coming together out there. Streetscape project, uh, we are uh, working. Uh, we have several uh, funds that were EIC funded uh, on infrastructure pieces in the, in the downtown street, streetscape uh, element. Uh, there's several, uh, as we mentioned in December, there's several uh, semi-conjoined planning efforts that are occurring uh, between the parking garage, Solhays Mansion, and then the interconnection to the downtown area. Um, so we are, before moving forward on those infrastructure pieces, letting those other planning efforts come together to make sure that they are cohesive. Uh, we're at about 15 to 20 percent on, on several of those other planning efforts. As those come a little bit more forward, uh, we'll be bringing that information back to this group uh, and certainly getting some feedback from, from you all and from the general public and the council uh, on how uh, we'd like to proceed with those. Uh, and the last one is uh, James A.V. Craftsman. Uh, we did receive a, a letter for the remainder of the uh, funding requests uh, from the EIC, um, and it's a good news story. And rather than have me up here, we have a, a representative uh, from James Avery that uh, would like to address the commission. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. My name is Hal Rideout, and I'm Vice President of Real Estate and Development with James Avery. And uh, we just want to start by thanking you all for your great support for the largest project that we've ever undertaken in our history. And, and we're extremely pleased with uh, how successful it has already been in terms of how it turned out and how it's functioning and the efficiency gained out of the whole process. And, we couldn't be more pleased with uh, the project and the process and, and everything involved. Uh, we ended up, um, like I said, the largest investment and in project undertaking of our history, and we've invested over $21 million at this point in, in the overall uh, parts of the project, uh, total project cost. Uh, we end the year with 543 people employed in the Kerrville area, and that's a 155-person increase over, you know, over the last two years. I think our goal was to be at a 72-person increase at this point in the process, and we've more than doubled that goal, and we're excited about that, and we're still on the path for some additional positions to fill. So uh, um, anyway, we're, uh, we're just very pleased. Uh, we feel like... Uh, all the dominoes have fallen into place, but not without a lot of effort from a lot of people, and um, both within our organization and in the city and the county and the community. And that also really, the jobs doesn't touch on kind of the ancillary uh, benefits of all the construction and activity and, and, and support activity that was generated uh, in a secondary manner during the course of the project. So. We couldn't be more pleased with the outcome and with the partnership with you, and um, we're happy to be on track. So we appreciate your consideration of our letter. So, any questions? Hal, no questions. Just a comment. Uh, you know, personally, we, we want to thank y'all for you know doing this project in, in Kerrville. Uh, the corporate, you know, partnership with people like Avery's is just a, a phenomenal benefit to this city. And I want to thank you all uh, for allowing us to be a part of that project. Well, we're excited about the past, the present, and the future. That's, so, that's all right. We are, too. Thank, thank you, you guys. So appreciate it. Anybody else? Thank you. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. Item four is a public hearing and possible action. So at this point in time, uh, I will open up at 411. I'll open the public hearing. 
for the funding agreement between the City of Kerrville and the Texas Economic Improvement Corporation and the City of Kerrville, Texas, uh, in the amount of $1.5 million for improvement at the HEB Tennis Center. Uh, do we have any comments that anybody would like to make regarding that project? <coughs> Is there any questions? Any public input? Mike, help me out again. Protocol, do I close the hearing, then vote, or do we vote, then close the hearing? Did you open the public hearing. I've you opened close it. it. No one's here. And then you take comments and ask for Okay, so I can close it now. Yes, sir. So okay, I now go ahead at 412. I'm closing the public hearing. Um, is there any discussion among the Economic Improvement Corporation Board regarding this request? If not, then I would entertain a motion. Move that we approve the funding agreement between the City of Kerrville, Texas Economic Improvement Corporation, and uh, the City of Kerrville, Texas, in the amount not to exceed a million five for the improvements to the HEB Tennis Center. I have a motion. Second. Second. I have two seconds. <laughs> uh, any discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion is passed unanimously. Item five is executive session. Mr. Hoppy, do we have any reason to go into executive session for discussion? No, sir. Does anybody on the board have any comment for executive session? If that's the case, then at 413, I adjourn this meeting. Thank you all for attending.